When you're programming, it's very easy to make mistakes without realising what's gone wrong or going wrong. So here's an example that looks fairly simple. Uh, added a line in a program called float voltage equals get battery voltage divided by 1000. Divided by 1000 because the get battery voltage function returns the answer in millivolts. So 3,888 millivolts. But the answer is 3, and that's wrong. So why is that? Well, the compiler is correct. So let's, let's go walk ourselves across the program line as the compiler expression evaluator does. And the first thing it does is, step one is to create a variable called voltage. And it's defined float, so it's of type floating point. Stage two is to evaluate the function get battery voltage. Then step three is to divide battery voltage by 1000. And then finally step four, it generates a result of 3888 divided by 1000, which in integer mass equals three, remainder 888. So how do we solve this? Well, the first expression is wrong. Second one will correct it, and that is to add a decimal place. So decimal zero at the end of each divisor. That will force the result to be a floating point or alternatively cast the C++ expression cast converts the result into a floating point. So you don't need the decimal zero on the divisor. So this is the program that you can use if you wish to test an experiment with these functions and how to get the right result. So what's the summary? You must always determine the type of data returned by any functions and to do so is can be quite difficult you'll have to examine the functions in a library source code uh, so go looking for get battery voltage and to see what type of data it returns so it's very easy to make that mistake like divide by 1000 that's a natural way of writing a program rather than divide by 1000.0. So always add a decimal place on any divisor. The compiler will ignore it if necessary. Uh, I hope you found this example interesting and useful.